This purchase includes a fully rigged character ready for your animations and movies or whatever you're working on with 20 plus custom poses and with very quick renders around 20 seconds in cycles and around eight seconds in Eevee. And this is the wireframe. Here is it from the side, from the back, and now from up close, very awesome. This is the overview part of the video. Basically, simply check out the parts you are interested in down in the description. Everything is timestamped, the rigging part, the creating a pose part, saving poses, rendering, everything is basically in the description. Just go there and check out the parts you are interested in. This character was made with the latest Blender version, which is Blender 3.3. So it should work with any Blender version before and after that. So if you're using Blender 3.4, 5, 6, whatever, it should still work fine. One recommendation is if you're using Blender 2.9 or 2.8 to upgrade because some of the poses might not work, but, but later versions should work fine. Now we're at the how to change poses part of the video. To change a pose first, select the rig, make sure it is orange. Then simply go to the top left, click on pose mode. Once you're there, simply change poses. Click a double click, double left click on anything and they should work great. So just left click, left click. As you can see, the poses switch somewhat slowly make sure you enable simplify so it's a bit quicker it's gonna just help with simplifying the scene one thing if you if you notice the poses changing like this this means you have a rig layer selected to avoid having these weird poses make sure you have nothing selected so i'm pressing right click on nothing and i'm pressing g and nothing is happening let me actually illustrate that better like this can see I'm pressing G, nothing is moving. If I press G and then move my mouse, you will see something will move. That means if I have right clicked on nothing and I press G, that means none of the rig layers are selected. And if I try to change a pose now, it's gonna work fine. So just make sure you have none of the rig layers selected once you're changing a pose. The leg works great as well. You can make full expressions with the legs in case you want to do something like this as well. If for example, it's like this and you want the leg elbow to move as well, that's possible. Basically the rig is very expressive for any animations or anything else you're working on. Okay, now we're at the checking out the rig part of the video. First things I recommend you do at this section is to simply go under uh, under render properties and enable simplify. It should be basically ticked in. You will notice if we enable it that everything looks a little more blocky. That is because we simplify the scene so it does not lag as much. So that is why we're doing that. Now we're gonna make the character in the typo so we can check out more of the rig in depth to see how it works. Basically, the mouth is very cool. You can adjust it as much as you want for fuller expressions for, I don't know, for example, if he does something like this, going through a tunnel, you can see the nose and stuff moving. You can pop off his cheeks, maybe not as much like that. You can, the, eye, the eyelid closing is as accurate as possible. You won't have any issues there. Oops. Um, like that. Also from the bottom, if for example, if for, <laughs> if for some reason he's blinking from the bottom, that's also possible. Um, you can of course tilt the head, you can have him look around. That's the mouth again, whoops. 
that's you can move this of course you can press n and then have more tweaks for example the arm in case you want to tweak it even more only this does this and then if you want to be more specific you can rotate everything you want now we're at the exporting renders part of the video to do that it is fairly simple stuff go into object mode make sure you dis disable simplify because sometimes it glitches a bit just make sure you disable it and choose your render engine in my case i will be taking eevee just make sure the lights are also enabled you can see they're enabled here with the camera icon that means it's enabled if you also want to see them just click on this and then you'll be able to see it in case you want to rotate the lights around with the camera you can do that you can play around basically i'm pressing r and I'm rotating um, but yeah to render just go on top left click on render image it's gonna freeze for a few seconds for in eevee and then after around eight seconds the render should be done as you can see here eevee is pretty cool and pretty fast if you want close-ups get the camera closer play around you can do a bunch of stuff just uh, move it closer and do whatever you want um yeah maybe if you don't want to you can also move the camera here under shift like that you can zoom it in here focus length in case you want to get closer shot and yeah you can also change the view type um to save the image just go under image save as Make sure you have RGBA if you want the image to be PNG. If you want it to remain black in the background, just switch to RGB. But if you want PNG, just go RGBA and then choose where you want to save it and click Save As Image. Now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video. A few recommendations is to enable Simplify so the scene does not lag. Just make sure you enable Simplify for the rigging part for the posing part as it's gonna help with the lag. So we'll make sure if nothing is selected. If I had this selected and I would go to the T pose, you would see it did not work. Just make sure if nothing selected. And if I press G, nothing moves here. If I had press G, that this moves. Just make sure nothing is selected and then you can go into T pose with no problem. Um, yeah, creating a custom pose is fairly cool and interesting. We'll press N to show our layers. Um, we'll start by just selecting the mouth, pressing G to move it down. And then we'll take the corners, shift select them, and then move them up. So he seems to be smiling. Um, we will um, put his arm like this, and then we'll rotate it rotate on the Y axis and then oops I think it's the other way around yep <laughs> like this um, and like that he's gonna wave now you're thinking the elbow looks weird so we just take the elbow move it down so it's more natural and he is looking good we'll also rotate it a bit period numpad to zoom in we'll do something like this cool we'll put the other arm next to him so it's more natural um, cool we'll pull the legs apart a bit we'll do like this and then we'll also move this so it's more to that side and then we'll also pull this here by pressing G and we'll also zoom in here and rotate our X to put it up a tiny bit so it looks more cute basically there's a bunch of things we could do I do recommend having a pose reference either you take a photo yourself or you find one on Google but basically this will be all that we will be doing because this is just a quick showcase how to create a custom pose but in your case do spend more time one thing i'll do is 
make sure he looks at the camera like that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll rotate so it looks straight on. Um, maybe with the hips a bit like that. Cool. And I will. Okay. So that is our pose. I have more in depth videos on my YouTube channel. Let me actually open that up. You should be able, you should click on videos, most popular, and you should see these two videos. In these two videos, I go in really depth about how you should create poses. Just go, and, uh -huh. oops, just go in the description and go under creating custom poses. You can see this is a lot of minutes and here is the same thing. A lot of minutes went into explaining how to create a custom pose. So just make sure you check out those if you need more help in creating a custom pose. Saving a custom pose is fairly simple. Let's say this is our beautiful pose we want to save. We'll first just make sure. The first thing you need to make sure is that all the rig layers that you used are visible. So for example, if I, if I move the fingers, I need to enable them. So I see the rig layers that I moved because we will need to press A and select all of the rig layers we have or basically we used. And then we'll go on the animations tab. If you can't see the tab, just make sure oops, you're in this view, your mouse is hovering here and you just press N and then you vi and go under animations. Then just make sure you press A, select everything and then create custom pose asset. As you saw, we just did that but we didn't name it. So usually sometimes you have uh, this part here where you can name it. If that does not show up, you can click on this arrow and then you can name it here. Let's call it wave cool. And if we have a, we have a wave cool, that is all. We have saved our custom pose. Now, if we want to switch, just make sure none of the rig layers are selected and we just switch through poses as usual. And then we take our custom pose. Um, where did it go? I think it went up. Uh, wave, wave cool. Yeah, here it is. And now we can create a bunch of cool poses and yeah, that's about it. Bye.